you. Mm. Biscuit? Oh, I've not got much of an appetite. When did you last eat something? Thank you. <laughs> Won't Les be wondering where you are? <sighs> I just needed to get out of the house. Well, you can stay here as long as you like. All these years working in a funeral parlour, all the families I've comforted, you'd think I'd know how to deal with grief, but... I've got no idea what to do. When my dad died, and I know it's not the same as losing a grandson, but I was so angry. I took it all out on Cat. But then I felt numb. I shut myself away, wouldn't eat anything. But Neville, my husband, well, on paper anyway, he fed me soup, he stroked my hair, he held me while I cried. And this is a man without an emotional bone in his body. I wouldn't have got through that if it hadn't been for him. What did she say to you then, the copper? She thinks there's saying I ain't telling her. Lizza? Why don't you get back inside her before your mum sends out a search party? I'm going to stay out here for a bit. Well, I'll give you a call later, all right? How's it doing? It's not great, man. If you ever want to talk about what happened, then I know you're probably not up to it, but a few of us are going to raise a glass of pool at the Vic later about five. If you fancy joining us. No, I think I'll give it a miss. You know where I am, yeah? 